salute to everybody who just hit 50k. I I'm happy. I'm happy. All right. What which one you want to talk about first? Oh my. Get All right. So uh <laughs> Grave Digger was up here on Saturday. Yeah, you know, on my music lives, bro. Yeah. I've, I I I shouldn't have had him on Saturday because that day I give the people a dope ass live that goes on for like nine hours, from six to like three in the morning. We play records. Uh, uh we drop records. We premiere records. Uh, we talk about the bullshit. We react to live it. It's a whole fucking show, right? But the homie grave digger needed to pull up because, you know, they're coming from all the way up north. You know? Yeah, it's a long drive. So I said, fuck it, pull up, right? Grave digger is a cool motherfucker. I've always had him up here, never had no issues. Uh, always been solid with me and solid with everybody around me. Talk Spanish like I talk Spanish. Yeah. Uh, we were able to chop it up, right? Never had a problem. His record was pretty fire, the album. Yeah, it was good. It, it was cool. Uh, good fucking vibe. But in the midst of it all, we had little Seti from Bay Recon. Yeah, yeah. And if we know Bay Recon is the label, and Grave Digger is signed to the label for distribution. Right, right. He's not from their circle. He's his own uh, entity. En- entity, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's only signed to them for, <coughs> for distro, right? So he's not from their area. He's not from their hood. He's not from none of that, dog, but he is from the camp. Yeah. Right. And I think uh, SETI and Bay Recon been around longer. Yeah, yeah. Than uh, Grave Digger, right? They're like young though. They're in their twenties. Right? Yeah, they're. they're yeah. Uh, I think they're already in their early thirties because they came out like in twenty twelve. Full. So if you do the math, they they had to be in their twenties then. So they're probably in their thirties right now. I think younger probably. Oh, well, who knows? Could maybe, wrong, yeah. maybe. But I remember seeing their first record like in twenty twelve. Uh. And Little Seti always been cool with me. Again, Little Seti has been solid with me. Never had a problem. Uh, out of all of them, out of like all the Bay Recon dudes, right? I'll put Seti number one on my list. More down to earth, more homie like. That's what yeah. I like. Fuck the music. It's just the kicking it. Right. Number one, right? And I will say Grave, Dig- Grave Digger comes in second, right? Uh, the, the other homies, I don't have a relationship like that, so I couldn't really tell you, right? Uh, but they're both solid. Now, we had Grave Digger doing a show, and you hit me. Hey, fool, I just pulled up into, into town. I just came back from Colorado. You want me to pull up? What I tell you? My house is your house. Oh, yeah. pull, pull up pull if you up, want to. On. You know, so you, you didn't have to. You weren't, you weren't scheduled in. No, no, no. I wasn't scheduled in. I uh, had the day off, but I came in to help out because I saw everybody was here, and I didn't see Playboy, so I was like, I'm going to go help out. Yeah, my brother. You know what I'm saying? And help with this interview. So I pulled up, and uh, and then you know, who was with me that day? Uh, Droops. Oh, Droops was here. Droops was here helping. Lax was yeah. here. Lax was here. Yeah. Cisco came through for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that's it, yeah. dog. Shit, I was surprised to be honest with you when uh when he asked me the question. Okay, so hold on. So hold on. Get into it. Yeah. So so. Said he started drinking, dog. He was already faded. Started to drink. Yeah, yeah. That fool likes to drink because both times that I seen him. Both times he was drunk, dog, or yeah. faded, out of his mind. Cloud nine, right? Yeah. And so he sat up there. Like that night he was. He was yeah. And he kept interrupting, what's his name, uh, Digga, before you got here. But I, I, I didn't stop him, fool, because I said, you know what? These fools know each other more than I know them. So if Digga doesn't say shit, why am I going to interrupt yeah, yeah, their yeah. brotherhood? They know each other, fool. Like, I'm the outsider right now. So if, if Digga ain't tripping, I ain't tripping. <coughs> So people kept saying, get this fool out of here. Get this fool out in the chat. This fool talking oh, too much. Oh, before I even came. Yeah, before you even yeah, came. Yeah. This fool talking too much. He's fucking up the show. Because, you know, he, he was reading the comments and he was getting he was game banging on the comments, fool. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was like, like, fuck that fool. He's saying this about me, blah, yeah. blah, blah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, was and ta- so, he was taking that a little too serious. A little too serious. serious. Opina yeah. style. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I don't take that. Uh, f- <laughs> from back in the day, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the day. So then you pull up. Yeah. And then he said... I want to ask you a question. I thought he was going to ask you some shit about music or Something. podcasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally didn't expect what he yeah, asked. Yeah, man, he, that shit was. I, I didn't expect it either because. Do so you remember word for word what he God, asked? You? I don't. It was something that, that I was raised over there and that that you used I, to function with, with the, the northerners Northern. up there and then. But he did say some something like that that I was up there and and it just caught me caught me off guard because I'm like, man, like 
Never. Basically, yeah. he said that you used to function with the Nortes and that one of his homies knows you personally from yeah. when you were up but, there. But that's the thing, though, is, is um, like um, like I told him, um, when I moved up there, dog, I didn't hang out with nobody. Yeah. And I only What year was this? 2004. You're talking about I went up there for eight months to work. My uncle uh, runs a couple of restaurants out there. So me going up there, coming from SoCal, I mean, use your conscious mind. I'm not going to be trying to hang out with nobody because yeah. I don't know nobody. Right. You know what I'm saying? So me uh, trying to function, even with the homies, like I wasn't trying to meet none of them. Um, when I would walk down the street and go to work, I would see one or two uh, like homies and, and they jam me up and I'd be like, you know what? I ain't trying to do that. I'm trying to work out here. You feel yeah. me? So, but you were in your prime at that time. I was in my prime, dog. I was knocking out heads, dog. So, I was uh, so at that time, you were trying to get your mind right. Yeah, well, at that time, I was getting my. I used to go uh, to South San Francisco High School. They got a fucking park, which is called uh, uh, Orange Park, South San Francisco Park. So I used to go right there and work out, fool, and just get get my grind on. And um, they would hit me up, fool, like busters and shit, like, what's up, fool? And I'd tell them, like, what do you want to do? Like, they were littler, though, like high school kids. I was already 23, 24. So I'd be like, just walk away. They walk away because I was, you know, I was on swole, fool. So, yeah. so anyways, fast forward it. Um, I moved out on my own. I was with my uncle, so I was explaining that to him when he was asking me, like, well, you know, like that way he could get an idea. And um, so I ended up catching a case on some on some northerners, and um, I tried to stab a couple of them. So I ended up in Redwood City County Jail. Okay, and that's the only time that I ever functioned with people but it was homies does that make sense i wasn't functioning with the homies outside out there outside of jail till i got to jail because i got no options but to fuck with the homies so the guy that he mentioned i know you from jail no i never met him because if i would have met him it would have been in jail and if i was in jail he would know i function with the homies yeah you understand what i'm saying so i don't know i never met hung out with anybody out there so that's a way out story first first of all my yeah. homies know me dog so so that's a way out story and um but I let him talk because at the end of the day, he wasn't being aggressive. Um, and you got nothing to hide. Yeah, I got nothing to hide. I'm in the room. I didn't run. And he didn't stand up and try to, like, press me or nothing like that. People he, were asking me why I didn't stop him. Well, you didn't need to because we were, it was two grown men having a conversation and just clearing up the air. He, he said what he said. And uh, coming not from him, though, because he wasn't there. He's yeah. talking about some other homie that said that. And a lot of times, bro, like, I, I got money, bro, so I like to travel. And like I said, my uncle, he has my last name. He runs four restaurants up there. So I like to vacation. Yeah. I've taken the homies out there, and we, you know, we go chill, Pier 39. We go eat. We function. We clown. You know what I'm saying? We're everywhere. We don't hide out there. Yeah. But we know what it is. We're cautious because they got numbers, right? So sometimes maybe it looks like I'm up there a lot, but I, I never, like, made it my home. You know, so, you know, it was a good combo. We just kind of cleared the air, but um, but I caught that case. Well, anyways, uh, when I went in there, it was all homies. Uh, salute uh, SMS, San Mateo Sudenos, because they, they were holding me down, and, and my celly happy. You know, that was that was us right there at that time in 04. That was like the squad that, that was. Yeah. that was. Well, there wasn't many of us, but we were there. So that's the only time I ever functioned with any homies, but it was our homies. I didn't have to stop yeah. it because... I don't think Little said he would have disrespected my place no. of business. And if he would have, uh, you know what? I don't even want to say if he would have because no. I don't want people to take that and nah, twist You it. know, he's a but young homie. I don't think he yeah. would have disrespected the place of business. I think he's too smart for that. I think he was just speaking his mind. Yeah, yeah. I think he was just like, let me make sure that I say this so that way the homies that are around know. Yeah, right, yeah. but I think that he could have said it off air, dog. I think he could have pulled yeah. us off to the side. Well, and that's like, what I'm saying. Fool, like, off, like, like off air, he told me straight out, like, I believe you, dog. Like, I, you know, it, you yeah. know, what I'm saying, like, pretty much, like, my yeah. Bad but hair, I don't but think he should have said it on the internet like that, dog. Yeah, for me, it doesn't matter because, like I said, I don't got nothing to hide. Yeah, facts. when when I'm good in my own skin, you know, we can talk about it. It's on you if if you got enough juice to to say. Names and say neighborhoods, cool. I know what juice I got. Yeah. I know what I can say and can't say. Yeah. So once we started getting into it, it was more of a thing like it's on you because I I, I can say what I'm gonna say. Yeah. You know my paperwork is good, dog. Yeah. Shit, I was up there. I caught a case going against Busters. 
You get you know me? I had hostages in that case. Straight up. Damn, they brought son. a hostage negotiator. If you want to get technical, you know what I'm saying? I was there. I was in the trenches, dog. Damn, Solo. Son. Solo dolo, bro. There I didn't ask go. for none of the homies' help. The first time I met the homies up there was in Redwood uh, City County Jail. Yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't out of the jail working and asking for help. I was, you know, I was out there, dog, by myself. So... For those eight months. And when I got out of the county jail, I came back home because I knew that I was outnumbered. I'm yeah. not going to make it up there. There's too many busters. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So, so, you know, but and uh, like, I'm not one to, to do rap music and put all that shit in, in a song. I'm not trying to get clout like that. Yeah. Like those stories are my stories, my war stories. You feel me? Yeah, for sure. You know, like I'm not out here like, oh, I'm the hardest homie, but I was there and I did my shit when I was young, bro. And now, I'm, you know, I'm. I'm 41 and now I'm chilling, dog. I did what I did. I'm comfortable in my skin. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so I just I, I I feel that like he should have left it off air. Number one, uh, and number two, I think he should have waited till he wasn't faded like that, dog. Because yeah, easily yeah. you could have got up and smacked him and said, you know what? Don't disrespect me like that. Because there's homies that will act like that fool. Yeah, but I didn't feel like I didn't feel like he disrespected me because he didn't say like this is the truth. He said, "I'm asking you a I'm question." Asking. Okay. Yeah, and when when you say that, that's like a term of respect. Yeah. You know, I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Not. Hey, I want to tell you how it is, bro. Yeah. That's different. You know. Yeah. He he kindly said, "I want to ask you a question." And uh, you know if you want willing to answer it, and I say yeah, let's do let's do it. I got nothing to to hide. And, and regardless, you know what I'm saying. So it's different. And and regardless, uh, Grave Digger told you after the show that there were, it was a bogus accusation. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's what I'm saying. And that and I and I I understand like stuff gets conscrewed because um see that's the thing is when he said oh weren't you in Redwood City County Jail? But a lot of people know that. Yeah. Because I've posted it like um, that part. I never said what for, but I said I've done time. Rep- so a lot of people know that, and it's not a big deal. I mean, that's that's just a county jail in, in South San Francisco, you know? Yeah. So a lot of people knew that. So maybe maybe people or maybe his solid homie maybe took it a different way. Or maybe they see me up there all the time, like vacationing, yeah. and they feel like, oh, this fool must live up here. Because I'm, like, I'm always clowning uh I'm not gonna say his name, but the one that everyone has distribution with, I'm always over there in his section taking yeah. pictures and clowning, cause like I like to do that, you know. I'm I'm a fool sometimes, you know. But I, I'm not. I don't live there. I wasn't raised there. Not only that yeah, fool, but sometimes weird. there's a lot of uh, lying ass motherfuckers, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's a photo that was uploaded to the internet today, and somebody in the comments like, "Oh, the guy on the left's a dropout." Everybody in the photo is a solid homie. Yeah, yeah, that's and what I'm saying. And not only yeah. that, but then there's a other instance where there's a photo full of like 30 homies in the room, right? And some rapper got in the comments and said they're all rats. So yeah, yeah. all these allegations, bro, sometimes it's like Yeah, and that's, and that's what I was going to say too, like people were getting me getting at me afterwards and they were trying to like stir me against uh him? Grave Digger and Seti. Yeah. They were sending me stuff that he they He punked that, you. No, no, not the, not that, but like they did songs with Okay. With uh, uh, northerners, or they did songs with dropouts, and like I said, I don't believe that. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? I met them in person. Yeah, Grave Diggers and Sethi, they're solid. They're here. They if they're on Hater World, they ain't hiding. Yeah, facts. So why the fuck? Why the fuck am I gonna believe eight people that say something about me? Yeah, facts. And I'm just older and mature, so I'm not gonna ever see Sethi and, and he, be like, yo, I know, I want to ask you a question. But that's just stuff that that. And even then, fool, those things could have yeah. happened. Like a lot of times, fool. Fools be from one hood one day, and then a month later yeah, they be from another hood, yeah. dog, and you don't know. Yeah, so my opinion on that is, you know, um, I've met uh, Grave Digger twice. Um, I like the shit he's doing. His, his music's dope. They got their movement. Um, and I met Seti this first time, and to me, it, it was, uh, they're good homies. I don't see any, uh, when people are sending me stuff, man, y'all could just quiet down because you're not going to pit me against the homies like yeah. that. See, a lo- there's happen. a lot of people on the internet for that be like, you should have done this. You should have done that. Yeah, you should have got up. Not only you, but Blue Devil should have done this. First of all, very simple. Nobody fool. got up out of their seat. So that's it wasn't like a situation where someone was getting aggressive. We were just talking. He Yeah, said, it's, he, just a, it's a conversation between men. Between men right? yeah. It's a conversation between men. Yeah. If, if if it has to come to that, then it will. But yeah, if, well, it, yeah. if it wasn't, bro, we could talk without fucking people watching and saying stupid shit. Now, yeah, because any man, and I'm not saying... Uh, uh, 
if him or me, if I would have got up and walked towards him, I know he's going to defend himself. Yeah, facts. And if he would get up and walk towards me, I'm going to defend facts. myself. But no, facts. everybody was sitting down and just conversating. Just talking. Nothing got out of hand. And, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, Gravedigger uh, was right there, uh, kind of like in the middle, kind of pushing it so it wouldn't get too, too crazy. And it didn't. We just now, There we was just a part about. where Gravedigger was talking to Seti, and they were, like, really at each other. You didn't see it? They were, yeah, they were. And I turned other. off the camera, dog. Respectfully, yeah. I turned it off. Go watch the video. I turned it off for, like, a cool little two, three minutes until they were done. Cause yeah, I, yeah, I didn't see that too much of it, but I didn't even take it like that. Like, I, I was just, I remember I kept saying, like, go ahead, homie, just get it off your chest, man, because to me, I'm, I'm too, um shit, I'm too OG for no, that, No, for dog. real, and me, me too, dog. I could have left the camera on and, oh, go for the drama. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, no, nah, dog, listen, they're having a conversation. They're they're they're, they're, they're trying to figure out, uh, let's stop fucking arguing and all that. Yeah. So turn off the cameras, dog. I turned them off, fool, because I didn't want, I didn't want to get that narrative push that I'm just trying to cause problems for the homies. Even though that, that I didn't yeah. do that, that ain't my problem, them arguing, but it's like, nah, I know better than that, dog. So I turned them off, and once they were, like, back to normal, then boom. Yeah. Plus, there was a few times where I stirred the conversation away from the beef, at whatever they were talking about. Hey, let's talk about this record right here, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that was good. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not trying to, to start no shit. Between yeah. the homies, now it was some whatever. I just feel like it was just, you know? he, he, he came out with the respectful... Um, question i to me he just asked he didn't he didn't insinuate that it was true he just said i want to ask you a question and yeah. then like like afterwards you know um like he said he didn't believe it and and so the know, question so. of the day before we kill this matter is the subpoena function with the norte man, fuck, man. never so, in my life there you go say so, i can't I hear that never in my life dog go. come on so that oh, issue God. stop asking stop sending uh messages Oh, they're sending you messages? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Done deal. All right. Yeah, it's a done, done deal. deal.